Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth installment of Havoc's video guide for Snake, the Elements of War. Today I'll be covering using your explosives to the best of their potential to have full stage control. Now stage control is a very important factor because limiting your opponent's stage options by placing explosives make it so they can't go on parts of the stage. If they can't go there, you limit their options of moving and they can therefore limit how they camp. If you're facing someone such as a Falco, if you could just sit over here, short hop, double laser you all day long, and you'll be out camped on Final Destination. You're going to be forced to crouch and wait for him to approach. However, if you manage to knock him off stage, you can simply place a few explosives over on the other side and then start camping from over here, forcing his approach because otherwise he gets blown up by one, one of your many explosives. Now then, for stage control, Snake has a few explosives. He has his C4, which lasts 27 seconds, or you could detonate it by pressing down B again. You could place this anywhere pretty much, including on parts of the stage, such as right there on the Final Destination lip. So for characters like Sheik and Lucario who want to go down there, you could blow them up. However, it's not really practical to put it there. But as you can see, it works. You have a mine, which lasts 25 seconds. And according to recent data that me and a few of the other snakes have gathered, always, always charge it up as much as you can. Because otherwise, it never really KOs. It's pointless unless you want just damage. Also, for the mine, things like projectiles and rolling over it breaks it. So you have to be very careful when placing this because people can just roll over it and take no damage. Or if they're like characters like Mario, they could just use a projectile to blow it up. So the mine is more or less useful depending on what characters. If you're facing a character like Meta Knight, he doesn't have as many options to blow it up. All he has is to roll over it. And that's not always his best and quickest option because sometimes you can punish a roll very easily. And using these in conjunction with each other really limits people's stage options, especially when recovering. Now, another thing Snake has is his Nikita. You can guide where it goes, but you're left kind of screwed over if you are sitting there, if you miss with the missile. It can be used for stage control, but more or less when people are recovering from off stage. You can place a C4, drop a grenade, go again, Nikita. You have a mine, a grenade, a Nikita, and a C4 going right at the edge if they're trying to recover. It's very useful to do this because it pressures them. Now then, for Final Destination, I find the best spots to camp right here on that edge or right here on this edge. Now if you're deciding to camp on this edge, your best bet would be to place a C4 right there on the green because it's harder to see. If I place it on this white or yellow part right here, it's very easy to see and makes it so it's easier to dodge. So always make sure to place it right on that green spot to make it blend in a bit better. Now for mines, you never want them right by the edge because if an opponent's on the edge and uses a get up, it just blows up the mine. I generally place this right in front of my C4, so if they do do a get up, they get blown up. And if they do a get up attack, they'd be about right here and you could blow them up. So either way, they're screwed unless they jump. So again, C4, mine on the second arrow. So it's kind of just trying to remember those arrows for Final Destination. I'll just place a C4 on the inner arrow and a mine on the outer arrow. And then you camp on the opposite side of the stage by using your nades. I normally normal toss them, cook them, and throw them up above the mine. Now that kind of covers Final Destination. It's not one of Snake's good stages because he can't really camp here as well. Alright now, Smashville is probably Snake's 
best stage because he has a moving uh, projectile. Since the hitbox e hits pretty much underneath it, placing a C4 on this moving platform means whenever your opponents blow it, you can just blow up, blow them up. It also means they can't use the platform to approach you, so you can just blow them up. So it really limits their options. They will always want to stay out from underneath this platform whenever they're facing you with the C4 there. Basically, on these blue lines on the outside is where I normally place my C4. The reasoning behind that is... It can stage spike people. Now, I'm blowing myself up to show you a quick example. If an opponent's recovering and they're sending ledge camp real quick or do a ledge jump, and you predict it, you can simply blow that C4 up and unless they tech that edge, they're gonna die. See? Stage spiked. And then I place my mines anywhere on this orange area right here because it's harder to see than anywhere else because it really blends in with Smashville when they forget it's there. So remember, mine goes anywhere on this orange strip, C4 goes on the blue or on the moving platform depending on the scenario. Blue is pretty much if your opponent's off stage and recovering. Platform is for when you're in on stage battle because then you can pull off things like that. Uh, Battlefield Snake's second best stage in my opinion it has a sort of a large bottom platform, so you can still be camped, but you can avoid that by placing a C4 up on here. Because as you've seen, it blows up partly underneath it and to the sides. So by pl placing a C4 on here, you basically cut off this entire section of the stage from your opponent. So they're limited to right here if they want to camp against you, or they're limited to approach you from any of this area if you're camping on this side. Another thing I like to do is right about here, a little bit off to the side of your C4, you place a mine. Mines are a bit hard to see on the battlefield because of the white surface. But as you can see, having it just a little bit off to the side means you limit even more of the stage from your opponent because when you blow up your C4, it also blows up that mine as seen right there. So you can place it a little bit... You can place your C4 on the edge and a mine where the platform ends and if they're right here and you blow up your C4, they get blown up. So now you cut off from the edge all the way up to right here. This entire section has just been cut off so your opponent is forced to pretty much approach you. So remember, C4 goes on the platforms mines go underneath the C4. So if you do a C4, place a mine, voila, double wall. Another place you can place C4 that's not as useful is up on this platform. Same rule applies. If they try an aerial approach, you can blow them up. Basically, C4 goes right above the edge, underneath the stage right here, or on any of the three platforms, and the mine will only go underneath these platforms right here. Placing a mine anywhere else is pretty much pointless. Basically, place mines anywhere down here, it doesn't actually make a difference. C4 goes on this platform because it tilts, and the same rule applies of getting hit when you're below it. As you can see, pretty useful. And that really actually covers the stage. Basically